Hello everybody out there in YouTube land and welcome to DC Fans United. So I found actually this is actually an image that somebody posted on Twitter that I saw and the more I looked at it the more I thought it would actually make a really good topic for a video. For one thing it's something I've been wondering about quite a lot myself. So Warner Brothers and DC have a ton of movies in development. Actually a lot more than I thought about but when you really stop to think about it it's like, yeah, I've, you know, I've heard of a, quite a few movies that are supposed to be coming out. Going back, I remember even before Batman v Superman came out, there was talk of there's going to be a Flash movie, there's going to be a Cyborg movie, and all this. And a lot of those movies we haven't gotten updates on in quite a long time. Uh, sometimes over a year. So what I'm going to do now is just go through all the movies that are in development, and then we'll talk about when we got an update on them last. So, like I mentioned, they had talked about a Flash Flash movie just titled The Flash. So I haven't heard anything about that in quite some time. Um, I assume Ezra Miller would be The Flash still. So we're just gonna have to wait and see. I think a lot of that's up in the air since Justice League didn't do really well. Uh, there's also, you may or may not know, a Lobo movie in development. So okay, um, I don't really get what like how they would tie that to into anything. There's a Justice League Dark movie in development, and it's been ages since we heard any updates about that. We've also, of course, there's the Cyborg movie in development. I don't know if we're ever actually going to get that one. I do think it would be potentially really good, but I also don't know. Maybe having Cyborg in Doom Patrol will build some hype for it, and with Aquaman doing so well, and really Wonder Woman doing really well too, DC might be more into trying uh, solo movies with some of their not unknown characters, but not quite as popular as the big three. So there's also a movie in development called The Black Adam Movie, which some people tell me is going to be a prequel to Shazam, but I don't really know how that would work unless Shazam isn't in it since he gets his powers in Shazam. Um, what would be cooler in my opinion is if it were a sequel to Shazam and then Shazam and Black Adam could fight. But we're gonna have to wait and see. So, wow, that's we're only up. Looked at five movies, so that's Black Adam. There's also Green Lantern Corps in development. So hopefully we'll get a new Green Lantern movie at some point. We haven't had one since the Ryan Reynolds one, which everyone knows didn't do too well. But it is interesting that the Sinestro actor, was it Mark Strong? is also going to be playing the villain in Shazam, Ian Dr. Savannah. So that's pretty cool, and maybe they can build some hype there for a new Green Lantern core movie. And hey, maybe he can play Sinestro again. So, they've also announced a sequel to Aquaman. Right now, it's just titled Aquaman 2. I don't know, they might give it a more elaborate name at some point, but that's no surprise to me. I mean, a Aquaman made over a billion dollars. It's still in the s theaters in some places, so I'm thinking it's going to clock in at over a billion... Over 1.1 billion for sure. It's past a billion already. Although it's it's done. It's run for the most part. But it's like a no-brainer. A lot of these movies, even though they're in development, I think might not happen. But I would bet my bottom dollar that there's going to be a sequel to Aquaman just because it's made so much money. All right. So what we are going to get for sure is Shazam and then Wonder Woman 84 and then Birds of Prey. Whether all these other six or seven movies come out as well in that area. We'll have to wait and see. There's also a Deadshot solo movie in development. So of course we saw Deadshot a fair amount in Suicide Squad and despite that movie having all kinds of issues it did make a good bit of money so they might actually do a Deadshot movie especially if they can squeeze Harley, Qu Harley Quinn in there too. And we're also looking at a Nightwing movie in development. I don't see that happening. I mean it could but I I don't see that happening. Um, uh, there's also a Batgirl movie in development. I don't know why they don't just make a Batman movie and then maybe do these after that. But So we've got Nightwing and Batgirl both in development. There's another Harley Quinn movie in development, and this one's called Harley Loves Joker, which would make a lot more sense to do before Birds of Prey, since we already know from the images and whatnot, and I did a video about this, I'll put a link to it in the description box, but we already know in Birds of Prey that Harley and Joker aren't together. So wouldn't you do Harley Loves Joker before that and then show how they f split and then do Birds of Prey. I don't know. The continuity on all this stuff is totally crazy. They're just, honestly, I feel like DC's throwing everything they have at the wall. Like, what properties do we have? 
and they see what sticks. And in some ways, that might work. I mean, Aquaman made a bunch of money, and who, no one really would have guessed that. Aquaman would have been the big DC property to make a ton of money. So who knows, maybe a Deadshot movie will make a billion dollars. I really can't foresee that right now. I'm just blown away though that there's literally 20 movies in development, and that's not counting Shazam. So another one we have in development is New Gods. So that could be pretty cool. I've, he I've heard about it a little bit in development, but I don't really know. I do know though, I like the lore a lot. The Jack Kirby Fourth World stuff is really great, so so, you know, if they'd actually had Darkseid show up in Justice League or something, it would make a lot more sense. But who knows, by the time this actually comes out, it could come out after Green Lantern Corps. Maybe we'd see them run into, you know, New Genesis or something. I don't know. So then there is the Joker movie. Uh, this is the Joaquin Phoenix one. I, I have no idea what they're going to do with Jared Leto. So this is another one that's probably going to come out before all these others aside from Birds of Prey. So I'm thinking it's going to be, <laughs> and this is just my guessing too, but we know Shazam's next and we know Wonder Woman 84 is next. I'm pretty sure Birds of Prey is next and then Joker is next. So that's the next four movies we know basically for sure. And then there's these other 16 or so that are also in development uh, and we haven't really seen anything from. The other four we've seen a lot from, or at least some what up <laughs> so supergirl has another solo movie that's in development that i mean that could work just fine they, we haven't had a supergirl movie since the 80s i think it was 1984 maybe, maybe yeah i think 84 you can correct me down below if i'm wrong but it was in the 80s and the supergirl show is doing pretty good it's in the fourth or fifth season so i could uh definitely see a Supergirl movie at least making its budget back. Although with 20 some movies in development, plus all the ones Marvel's putting out, uh, Warner Brothers better hope that superhero fatigue doesn't set in and we s people stop going to these movies. And we've also got in development Blue Beetle. So it's it's like, why wouldn't she just do a Teen Titans movie? I don't know. It, it, it could, maybe it's the old school Blue Beetle who wasn't with the Titans. Oh no, they did announce though it was the newer one. So yeah, I, I really don't know what the theory is there. I think maybe they're just kind of banking off of Spider-Man success, seeing how successful that is, and then thinking, well, maybe we can do some things with our character that's sort of similar, although not really at all. I, I don't know, people always make the comparison that Blue Beetle and Spider-Man are alike. Maybe it's it's the more modern Blue Beetle because he's so young and all that. It's kind of like Peter Parker in a way. Uh, okay, so there's only three more. We've got Plastic Man in development. I have no idea why, like, people who don't read comics don't know who Plastic Man is, but... Who knows? I mean, they have been pushing Plastic Man more and more. He's got his own solo series, so who knows? So they also have Deathstroke gonna have a solo movie. Now this one I actually think is really smart. For one reason, I was just looking at the Comicron numbers yesterday, actually. Deathstroke's on like issue number 40 and it's still selling really good. Deathstroke's got a big, well not a big, but he's got a solid fan base that will like buy anything that's Deathstroke related. They always read his books, you know, they're really hyped when they saw him at the end of, was it Justice League or BVS? I think it was Batman. Oh, it had to be uh, Justice League he was at the end of. But anyways, <laughs> whatever he was at the end of, they really loved it. So Deathstroke, yeah, I, I think they should make that movie, if nothing else, just to make a buck. And then finally, Black Hawk is also in development. So that one, I do remember, I think they said Steven Spielberg was going to be directing it. So that has a lot of potential. He's good with that sort of realistic, you know, using real... Um, props and stuff and having airplanes and things. It could work really well and I can't wait to see who they cast as Lady Blackhawk. <laughs> so two other movies that are likely to happen at some point but haven't been put into development are Justice League 2 and Man of Steel number 2, which I think is the Half-Life 3 of the DC Universe. It's never going to happen. So we have a ton of movies. So let's look at the updates when we last got updates. This image I'm using is a little out of date, but for the most part I think is correct. The Flash for our last update we haven't heard since November 15th 2018 so that's been several months but that's not too bad for these movies so I'm pretty sure we'll get a flash movie at some point Lobo we actually haven't heard about for over a year so not too sure that's gonna happen Justice League Dark we haven't heard since August 2017 so I'm thinking if we do get a Justice League Dark movie it's not gonna be for a long time Definitely after Joker and Birds of Prey. Cyborg, uh, we last heard in December of last year, so we might get a Cyborg movie. I'm not so sure, though. Black Adam's definitely going to happen. 
probably that it might actually be the fifth one to happen green lantern Corps we haven't heard since july 2018 but i could see that happening aquaman 2 we just heard about so that's going to happen for sure birds of prey this doesn't have one that was last updated but we got updates like yesterday really all the last couple weeks they've been <laughs> more or less uh putting out promotional images so deadshot we haven't heard about since september 2018 you know that was probably riding the suicide squad success when they put that into development nightwing we haven't heard about since october of 2018 and batgirl we haven't heard about since december of 2018 i don't know it's hard to launch either of those without a batman movie to come out beforehand like what i would do if they want to do it that way is have a trilogy uh, have batman be the first movie have nightwing and batgirl in it and then the next two would be their solo movies and still have batman maybe show up a tiny bit harley quinn loves joker <laughs> which joker does she love does she love the you know maybe that's what they're gonna do what if she leaves the jared leto joker in, you know before birds of prey and then the joaquin phoenix joker comes out and then harley loves joker comes out and she gets with the joaquin phoenix maybe they're playing some 4d chess <laughs> who knows right so we heard about that though in september of last year uh new gods we heard about in december of last year so that's kind of just recently gone into development joker we hear about that pretty re recently i i've seen the images of him doing his little dance wherever they filmed that in the philippines i think uh supergirl we heard about in august of last year i i don't remember hearing about it but apparently it's in development blue beetle i heard about november yeah that's when they announced it last year i made a video about that uh, they also announced Plastic Man in December of last year, and let's see, Deathstroke we heard about in July of last year, and Blackhawk we heard about in April of last year. So that's the rundown on all the DC movies. That's a lot of movies. I don't know. I... My guess is they're going to come out in a completely different order than what's listed here, and that a lot of them may not happen, but it's really just going to depend on how well the movies do. With Aquaman making a billion dollars, they, they, they've got, they're they got seeing dollar signs over at Warner Brothers. So I'm thinking we're going to see a lot of these movies, especially if Shazam does well and if Wonder Woman does well. All right, that's all for now. Um, of these movies, which ones are you guys looking forward to? And are you hoping they make all of them? All right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Be sure to hit the bell for notifications. You can check me out on Patreon. I've got exclusive content over there. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And as always, thank you for watching and being a part of DC Fans United. End of line.